to my channel. Um, first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry if you hear any background noise. I do have some company over, which is my dad's girlfriend. Shout out Yachty. She's making us a dinner. So, yeah, if you hear any noises or the fan, I have the fan on because it's hot. You know what I mean? And, yeah. But, um, can we all take a second and appreciate this makeup? Like, I'm coming in September with a great vibes, you know? We got the glitter eyeliner on. We got everything going. Eh. Oh, nope. yeah, I'm just kidding. That's really cringy. But, um, yeah. And I even straightened my hair. Like, what? I haven't straightened my hair in forever. But honestly, you probably won't see me with strained hair for a while Aww. because um, it's damaging to your hair and yeah, I really like my natural little curl I got going, well wavy, hold up, I got naturally wavy hair, not curly hair because y'all want to come for me. So yeah, anyways, what we're doing in today's video is I'm giving some tips, advice, you know, for incoming freshmen for college. Um, obviously, I'm actually not in college. I am going to cosmetology school. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to put that in there, but, you know, I might do the little silence. Silence about my stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, I just wanted to come on here and give you guys some little tips and stuff for what people never told me about college. So, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Before we jump into this video, I need you guys to uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want though. I'm not going to force you to subscribe or maybe I will. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, I have a lot of energy because your girl's sipping on some coffee. Okay, I need to stop. But um, this is really a game changer. Shout out to, I think her name on Instagram is Sassy Samantha. I'm not sure, but um, she put me on this. You want to know what it is? You got to look in my uh, comment down below, as in my bio. So, okay, let's just get on with the video. So, you know I had to write my tips down in my little girl power journal. I need a new journal. Like, this is, like, all ratchet and stuff, and, like, I wrote on it. Also, this is from college, so <laughs> shout out. You get some free things. That's a perk um, even when you're paying like $44,000 to be there. Um, or maybe it's $50,000. i am not sure, but it's expensive. So now that we're talking about finances, that's the first thing on my list. You know what? You know, you're thinking you're all good. You say, oh, I'm signed up for college. I know what I'm doing. Do you really know what you're doing? Because... That's what I thought, and I had no idea what I was doing, okay? First of all, my parents never went to college, university, nothing, so I'm really the first generation going to college, so I didn't really have a lot of help. I don't want to say that, though, because I did have resources, okay? Use your resources. Um, but I just was kind of just signing up, just checking the boxes. You know, I would read some things, but like, honestly, you need to really do your research on things and make sure you're doing the right thing with going to school and knowing what you're doing. Because one, you don't want to waste your time or money because those are very valuable, especially your money. And two, you want to make sure what you're doing is going to help you in the future. Don't just sign up for something because your parents want you to sign up for something. Literally do things for yourself. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you do things for yourself, it's so much easier. Your life will be easier and you'll be help, happy with your own self. Honestly, I'm blessed to have parents that support me no matter what. And like it's honestly very emotional, emotional because I know a lot of people don't have parents like that. And... You know, I'm blessed to have my parents, they support me no matter what, if I want to go to school, if I want to work, if I want to do this, as long as I'm having this independent vibe, you know what I mean? And honestly, during this whole time with Corona, I didn't have that, and it was super horrible, and I don't wish that upon anybody, so, but you know what? We get through it, we're bouncing back, and we're gonna love life, so... Okay, sorry, I got super distracted. So the first one I wrote down is know what you're signing up for. Basically what we just said. Um, you need to learn about financial aid. Okay, first of all, what I recommend is 
If you're a senior in high school, you're going to want to do that FAFSA quick, okay? Because the quicker you do it, the more money you can receive, then the faster you're going to know what's going on. Please be on board with your parents and asking them questions, you know, about this stuff because you do have to rely on your parents, sadly. It sucks. I know I went through it all. So there goes the blender. Um, it's a really thing I'm going to say because it's just like you got to make sure you know their taxes and this and that. But if you're qualified for it, you're going to get a lot of money, grants and all that. So really recommend to do it really in advance okay do the fafsa fafsa in advance okay also for financial aid for college you're going to want to do payment plans okay because if you're going to want to pay them back please make sure you know what you're doing when you sign up for that payment plan talk 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 to them talk to the financial aid people just do anything you can i'm going to tell you right now I did that too numerous amounts of times and it got messed up so many times and the fact that I went out of my way well you always have to go out of your way you're a college student like what are what am I talking about but I went out of my way all the time to call to even walk down to the office to talk to them when I was at U of A and you know they're super busy and all this stuff but you got to make sure you really do know what you're signing up for and your payment plans everything make sure you have that scheduled and good and clear to go even double check triple check this is so important because you don't want to get screwed over like i really did get screwed over and i'm gonna put the blame on myself because there's someone else going to college but me myself and i so yeah that's very important the second thing i wrote down is use your resources once you go to college there's numerous of resources okay i was overwhelmed when i attended u of a fall 2019 there were so many resources and they really do help you out honestly like you don't feel alone like i never felt alone um i really did feel like i had tons of help um especially with counseling okay this is in your tuition basically you can get free counseling i did it i'm not ashamed to say that i did it because honestly it helped me so much talking to someone that was a, that was a former graduate and she told me all these things about um how she went to community college and she did this and she graduated from here and all this stuff and like just venting and talking to her was one of the best things i really should email her and tell her like what i'm doing because honestly she was so cool i got to see her every two weeks and it's optional like really it's just the best thing you can do for yourself it's a nice cleanse um you can go ever so often how many times you want but really they're certified they're there not everyone's a former graduate so but i just got lucky with mine so yeah please use your resources in that even with anything else literally math resources english resources people are there to help you not even at universities everywhere at community college you have tons of resources they do not want to see you fail they want to have you come back so that you can spend your money and you can get your education so that's very important to know okay um third thing have fun and be authentic be yourself dude you do not need to put up a front and be Hold on, I feel like I'm sweating on my mustache. Okay. You do not need to put up a front and act like somebody else or act like every other college girl or guy out there. Honestly, it's the best thing to just do your own thing, you know. Explore your options. Like if you want to, you know, go on the party side, go on the party side, see what you can do. If you want to chill out, you know, vibe at your dorm or vibe at your house or do anything, do that too. Just literally do things that you're lo you love to do. But also, get out of your comfort zone sometimes. Don't be shy and sheltered. You're not going to get anywhere, anywhere if you keep doing that, honestly. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because when I was in high school, I really got out there. I was in everything you can name it. Stugo. I did every event. I was just very spontaneous because I really wanted to just live every day like it was my last. I know it's so cheesy to say, but it's honestly the truth. And in college, you kind of need to do the same thing, but you need to study 
and you need to take your academics seriously because that's one thing that I regret. I didn't take it too serious. I took it serious enough to where obviously I was going and I was doing what I could, but I know that I could have really like strived to be the greatest and I didn't do that. So that is one thing that I'm just like, you really need to do and I'm on it. Like, yeah, but yeah, being yourself just, it's amazing what you can see in your own self and who you surround yourself with is such a big thing too is so important because one you don't want to be alone two you need friends you need to socialize okay if you're an introvert that's the one that stays inside right that likes homey stuff yeah right i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but you know if you're an introvert extrovert it's just you need to kind of figure out somewhere in the middle and my boyfriend's texting me so yes i'm good baby let me text you back yes um now that that's over with but um yeah be yourself be authentic find friends find your people you know everything everything and above and i'm honestly like oh, i just wish hold up this is a different topic but um yeah i don't know what i was going with with that um yeah so another thing is i highly highly recommend everybody told me this everybody told me this all of my mentors i looked up to in high school everybody told me this do community college first i promise you you're gonna save so much more time and so much more money money if you have the money girl or guy go go out you know do your whole thing do the university vibe do whatever you want but if you're like me or anybody else that doesn't have that much money or doesn't even get that much for financial aid with your loans your grants and all that just do community college i promise you it's so much better when i went to community college it was the best like honestly the vibe everything like at first i dreaded it because i was like wow like i'm going to a campus so small it kind of reminded me of high school you know but then you just gotta look at the positives honestly because really it's just so more realistic with your money like Oh, it's just crazy. I just really should have slapped myself in the head. So yeah, I really highly suggest you go to community college maybe for a year or two years and they will help you go to a university. You know what I'm saying? Like it's they're just they're just as great. You're going to get great education. I promise you. This is what I thought. I was just like, "Oh my god, like if I go to community college, like it's just so Mm, not the college experience and I want to go to this university and I want to get away and I know what I'm doing. I just had such a hard head and I don't regret going obviously because everything happens for a reason and you know what that was my dream school and the dream became no thanks see you later bye wildcats or is it this way bye wildcats um i don't hate on the school though best place you know for your education because they really do teach you well and every every staff every member great didn't have any bad exper experiences but with the people there cutty <laughs> okay anyways enough about me <laughs> more about you guys so um yeah community college great do it you know it's gonna save you money so we'll we don't want to hurt our pockets, okay? We don't want to hurt our pockets. So yeah, um, what else? <sighs> I don't know what else. So, if you're shy, you know, you're going to this big campus, say you're going to university. I'm just gonna put, put out the play like that. You're going to this university and you're like, where do I even begin? I highly, highly recommend to go to the events that they host like anything with freshmen anything you're gonna find so many people you're gonna meet so many people you're gonna meet fake people you're gonna meet real people you're gonna meet weird and etc but you know you may find your soulmate no i'm just kidding you may find your friends you may find your find your crowd you never know it's great to go to those events please do it don't be embarrassed yo everybody does it everybody's new it's just a great vibe so do it even at community college i know that they host some events but due to the corona we don't have any right now 
so that's pretty upsetting but yeah in the future i do highly recommend that um just really put yourself out there not too much don't get any wrong ideas but yeah um other than that like i said just please know what you're signing yourself up for with the money and all that i know a lot of people don't have to worry about the money but uh, maybe other people you know struggle with money and they don't know what they're doing so yeah just make sure you you do that and have fun live your life smile be happy be blessed just do everything you're gonna do great guys you're gonna do amazing things all my new um freshmen going into college i wish you great great luck you're gonna do great you're gonna have so much fun if you go to college or not you're gonna have so much fun with your life you're beginning something new right out of high school it's scary it's hard it's frustrating and but it's all great at the same time just yeah talk to people you know what i'm saying just do you boo boos okay guys i think i've said enough for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are having a great day you know it's september we're manifesting new things we're looking forward for new things so i love y'all and i'll see you next friday Peace.